Okay, so the Photos app in iOS 17 has gotten a lot smarter with a bunch of new updates and features that you might not have known about. So in this video, I'm gonna show you sort of what's changed with the Photos app and how you can take advantage of these features. Now, the first feature I wanna go over is a pretty simple one, and you might already know this, but you can now zoom into a photo and hit the crop button at the top right to save that crop. And this is especially useful if you have like a derpy photo of a friend. I found that it's pretty easy to just get a nice and quick close up crop. Now the second one is super fun and that's the ability to create stickers with the existing feature of lifting a subject off of the background. So once again, if I just show you that real quick, if you press and hold on a subject, it will intelligently lift that subject from the background and now we get a new button where you can add sticker and wow, my voice cracked. And now you can use this sticker in messages. So um, if I hit the plus button and then stickers, uh, you now see the sticker down here and you can send that as is, or what I like to do is press and hold on the sticker and now you can drag it onto any existing message. And as you can see, I was playing with it earlier. You can actually pretty easily view the message underneath if you press and hold on that message. And next up, we have a bunch of AI features with Visual Lookup. So Visual Lookup is now gonna work with food, storefronts, signs, and symbols. Um, and in terms of symbols, we've all seen these like really cryptic uh, symbols in your car, right? And so now with Visual Lookup, with this little eye down here, it's able to detect what these symbols are and show you what these symbols mean. And so I guess Yes, this one down here, that one means that your uh, track control is off and then we get maybe icy road conditions with that one over there. Another type of symbol that we all hate is laundry. So um, we've all seen these really tiny little symbols on our laundry tags on our clothes. For example, this is a photo I took on my Patagonia puffer jacket and if I just hit the I down here and then hit laundry care, you'll see uh, what these symbols mean and how you can take care of this particular piece of clothing, which will definitely come in handy. Now, visual lookup also extends to food, landmarks, as well as animals. So in terms of food, you'll see this I button down here. If we hit that, it will try to figure out what food is in the photo. Interestingly, the first three results are actually wrong. Really, this fourth one is the correct one, and then all these ones below. Another example here of sashimi. Again, if we hit the I button and look up food, you'll see a sashimi rice bowl plus a video, uh, and then some similar images down at the bottom here, which you can tap into. Now, I was also interested in what would happen if I showed it like a very ethnic and niche type of food. So this is injera. It is an uh, Ethiopian dish. And actually, if we hit look up food, it will give us uh, steamed mussels in beer. So that is obviously wrong. But if we scroll down, the fifth option here does give us uh, the correct answer, which is injera. It's like this spongy bread. Now, one thing I was surprised with is uh, this dish in particular, because it doesn't really look like anything. Like if we zoom in here, it's really hard to tell like what exactly we're looking at and the textures that's going on. But uh, this is kakuni. This is Japanese braised pork belly, and it actually got it correct. So this second option is spot on. And yeah, this is such a great dish. If you haven't tried it, um, you just get some pork belly, you put it in some onions, you boil it for a little bit. Uh, once it's cooked all the way through, you reverse sear it. And then that gives it like this crispy, what am I even talking about? This is not a cooking show, but yeah, it's it's amazing. You should try it out and try cooking it if you haven't already. Um, on to the next thing. So landmarks. I'm pretty sure this was a feature in iOS 16. So if we hit the I button down here, look up landmark, and we can see that this is Vernal Falls. Now, one thing I was surprised with is this picture I took in Utah at Arches National Park. Um, I'd say that it's pretty recognizable, but um, the AI doesn't seem to know uh, what exactly it's looking at here. Now, next up we have animals. So this one's a pretty easy one. This is a golden retriever. Uh, this is a bull terrier. I'm pretty sure this is like the, the target dog, right? With I don't know, maybe I'm making that up. This is a very unique dog that I wanted to test out and unfortunately doesn't get this one right. Um, this dog is called the pulley. And so it thinks that this is a 
bearded collie. Now, what about a picture with a bunch of different breeds of dogs? So if we hit the little I button down there and uh, you'll see that it populates this area with a bunch of, bunch of little dots that you can click into. If we click this top one, it will show that it's a Dalmatian. This one looks like some sort of Husky and uh, it says Siberian Husky. There are some other dogs up here and it doesn't seem to uh, have buttons for those. This is an alpaca and it doesn't seem to detect that there's an animal in this picture because if we hit the I button, um, there's no like lookup feature. Maybe if we crop it and just force it to look. Okay, there we go. It showed up right there. It thinks it's a dog. Bruh. It thinks it's a golden doodle. Okay. I mean, I guess it does kind of look like a golden doodle, but it is an alpaca. This is a capybara. So I saw this in uh, Taiwan. They sleep a lot and um, yeah, they're really fun to play with. And it also works in a paused video frame. So visual lookup now works with videos. Uh, again, the same way you can look up what animal that is and that's a capybara. But what about Minecraft animals? So uh, yeah, it doesn't detect Minecraft animals, which I guess that's okay. But what you can do is press and hold add sticker, and now you have a Minecraft pig as a sticker. Now, Visual Lookup also works with a uh, tree species. So this is a giant sequoia, and um, I think this is also a giant sequoia, or maybe redwood, I'm not sure. Minecraft test, this is a birch tree, but it doesn't detect it, unfortunately. Now, one really neat feature in Photos is the ability to translate text directly in that app. So. Uh, this is Mandarin and I'm just gonna highlight it there and hit translate and this says precautions before foot bath Please read before going to the water the following water means that you 100% agree to the rules of our store pretty accurate I mean it gets the idea across uh, but yeah This is a foot bath where little fishies will nibble at your uh, dead skin and yeah This is what it looked like from my perspective and my friend Anthony here was brave enough to go in this, into this pool with huge fish. Um, and it just basically felt like little pinches and little scratches on your feet. And uh, yeah, very unique experience. I also have this photo here with mixed lighting. Again, it is Mandarin and we're gonna highlight all of the text here. And then we're gonna hit translate. And it says water repellent, processing nylon, blah, 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 windproof trousers, and a couple of details about the pants. And I'd say this works pretty well. So yeah, definitely give these features a try. Uh, the Photos app is getting smarter and smarter. If you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.